watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Sergey Crusher Kovalev and Saul Canelo Alvarez seem to be on the collision course to face off against one another September 14th. Uh, as the days grow closer, uh, it seems like there are possibility that they could get a deal done. Um, Sergey Kovalev wants $12 million. Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy offered uh, Sergey Crusher Kovalev $6 million. So they need to up the ante. And uh, Oscar De La Hoya is threatening to pull out if they don't get an answer and a signed contract by today, right? Within the next 24 hours, um, because they said that the, they feel like the fight is getting closer. They need to promote the fight. They need to know their opponent because September 14th is right around the corner. Uh, this is um, July 11th. So, you know, uh, he's right. You know, um, three days will make it exactly two months out, you know, and um, with that said, that's eight weeks. You know, you need about eight week training camp. Uh, then you need about a week of promotion. You're gonna go city to city, at least two cities. You're at least gonna go to uh, LA and New York, at the very least. Um, and with a fight like this, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna wanna touch, touch down in Mexico, uh, New York, LA, and maybe even Vegas. You know what I mean? Because it's gonna be uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez moving up to 175 pounds to challenge Sergey Kovalev for his WBA title, uh, WBO title, excuse me. And uh, so, you know, it's going to be a big fight. You know, um, this Canelo Alvarez daring to be great, entering a fourth weight class, trying to uh, conquer a fourth weight class. So with that said, you know, this is big business. Uh, with a fight of this magnitude, if you really truly wanted to sell, you would um, have to promote it. Well, also, uh, part of the deal, part of the, the, the weight for Sergey Kovalev to get the $12 million is to get a three fight deal with the zone. So main event, uh, Kathy Duva and Sergey Kovalev are looking to get a three fight deal done with the zone. Uh, they're looking, they reach supposed to reach out to Eddie Hearn. So Eddie Hearn could get this, um, over the finish line. So he would have two fights outside of the Canelo Alvarez fight. Obviously you have the Canelo Alvarez fight would be his first fight, uh, in September. Uh, and then two fights after that guaranteed on the back end, uh, on the zone. Uh, the problem with that is this, um, if the zone feels like this, if Sergey Crusher or Kovalev was to lose to Saul Canelo Alvarez, you know, uh, is he going to be worth, you know, um, another two fights for whatever money they're going to be looking to receive, right? So um, that's the problem. I think that that's the biggest problem in this whole scenario is that the zone probably looking at the situation and saying if um, Sergey Crusher Kovalev was to lose, you know, uh, do we want him to have two fights more remaining on his contract? You know, um, I mean, it's still is going to be a big fight initially. So even if he does lose to Saul Canelo Alvarez, uh, he still could um, bounce back, you know, um, and, uh, uh, um, you know, face off against a couple of guys at 175 on uh, the zone. It's I mean, the zone has been putting on guys on there that haven't been the best in the world, haven't been world beaters to begin with. So uh, it's not a hard sell if Canelo Alvarez was to beat Sergey Crusher Kovalev for Kovalev to have two more fights on the zone. It's not out of the question, right? Because there's guys on the zone that's having fights that lost uh, um, multiple fights. You understand? And then nowhere near the star of the name that Sergey Crusher Kovalev is. So um, I, I, it, it, beho it behooves me to, to see to think that um, you know the zone is playing hardball in this situation. I think they just need to get Eddie Hearn to help them get it over the finish line. And I'm all, all but certain that, you know, um, this fight will get over the finish line, Kovalev and uh, Canelo Alvarez, because Oscar De La Hoya is trying to put a deadline on it, trying to rush the pace. So this means that they're deep in the negotiations and Oscar De La Hoya wants them to just go ahead and agree at this point in time. But uh, they, that, they're 50% away, man. They're halfway away, $6 million. Uh, they're offering and he wants 12. So they're saying that, you know, the other, the, the, to make up the difference, uh, will have to be Kovalev signing to the zone on a three fight deal. And that'll make up the difference for them. Uh, but, uh, 
I think this is a terrible fight for Saul Canelo Alvarez. I don't think that this is a fight he's going to win. I think Sergey Krasha Kovalev um, has all the tools. Uh, it's too big of a, uh, of, of a gap in size and uh, weight. And I think that Sergey Krasha Kovalev has all the tools. He, take, he has everything it takes to beat Canelo Alvarez. Uh, if, he fights, if he fights anything remotely close to the way he fought Aleda Alvarez in his last fight, he'll beat Saul Canelo Alvarez pretty easy. Canelo Alvarez is going to have to work extremely hard to get on the inside, uh, and he's not going to be able to deal with uh, Kovalev's power. Uh, Kovalev may not have the power. He may not be the fighter he was uh, in the Andre Ward fights or leading up to the Andre Ward fights, but he's still a um, very, very dangerous fighter. He still packs a, a, a very serious, powerful punch so that I don't think that Canelo Alvarez can withstand. Uh, he's going to touch Canelo Alvarez, making Canelo Alvarez uh, hesitant to just rush in. And thus, you know, uh, we seeing that, um, you know, can, uh, Co Sergey Kovalev doesn't have to try to knock him out. He can win on points like he did against Aleda Alvarez. If he's disciplined, fight the way he fought Aleda Alvarez, used his jab, stay behind his jab, hide his right hand. He could do all of that with Canelo Alvarez because their footwork is about the same speed. Uh, so, you know, um, Canelo Alvarez does have faster hands, you know, so um, that could be a problem for Sergey Kovalev. You know, if he countering him, but if he uses his jab and keeps Canelo at bay, you know, there's nothing Canelo Alvarez could do. And he has the power to, to make Canelo Alvarez stay honest. You know, he's not just going to bull in. He's going to taste his power from his jab alone, and it's going to make Canelo Alvarez hesitant. So I think that this is a terrible uh, fight for um, Canelo Alvarez because I think that he's going to lose this fight. And I think he's going to lose this fight big. Uh, I know they're going to say, well, he could always go back down and you know, uh, compete at a weight that he's more suitable for, you know, but the fact remains that he would have lost another fight, you know, and I believe that he could lose in a dramatic fashion. If Sergey Kovalev was to hide uh, his right hand enough and, uh, uh, you know, um, often enough, he could knock Canelo Alvarez out. You know, I know Canelo Alvarez is slick uh, from the waist up. He does have bob and weave mo uh, moves and head movement, but, and hand speed, but when it comes to foot speed, he doesn't have it. Uh, when it comes to size, he does not have it. You know, so it's, uh, it's this should be a clear uh, cut, clean victory for Sergey Kovalev. And so if I was Sergey Kovalev at this point, I would take the money. I would take the deal, you know, because listen, it's going to make, it's a, it's a big payday for you. If not, he's going to face Anthony Yard and he's not going to get six, seven million dollars to face Anthony Yard. At best, he'll do 1.5 for, for Anthony Yard fight. So you might well go ahead. If you beat Sergey Co uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, then you still got the Anthony Yard fight uh, uh, on the back end, right? So, you know, make it happen. If I'm Sergey Crusher Kovalev and his team, I'm like, listen, this is the perfect fight. You know, I can't see Can uh, Sergey Kovalev losing this fight unless he just comes in there to lay down and doesn't come to fight, point blank and period. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. It looks like this fight is a strong possibility. It could be for September 14th. That's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. That's all I got for y'all. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Looks like we're going to get Sergey Crusher Kovalev versus Saul Canelo Alvarez at 175 pounds, September 14th, Mexican Independence Day weekend. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sports TV.